Today we're going to do some large product photography. Hi, I'm Mick Sadler and today we're going to do some large product photography. And we're going to use a fairly simple setup. We're going to use one of these 125 watt bulbs. Now this is a compact fluorescent photographic bulb and we multiply this by four times to give us the uh, the output. Um, some companies use five times and six times multiplication but more realistic is four times and you should find the original wattage multiply it by four and it'll give you a rough idea of the output of the bulb. We're also going to be using our compact light stand like this which folds up very small and goes up to two meters so let's get set up now and we're going to use uh, the bulb we're going to use two bulbs two umbrellas and um, we're going to sit the camera on a tripod and we're going to take a picture of this table This is our ceramic bulb holder and uh, it's got one knob on the side and it opens up and fits over the lighting spigot and does up. This also controls the angle so as well as gripping the stand it controls the angle. We're going to use the shoot through umbrellas and they just slip into the uh, bulb holder just like that. And uh, as I say, we can angle the bulb holder with this one knob. Now we're going to put on the bulb. Right, well, we're screwing in the bulb. Uh, we need to be fairly careful with this. Well, this is our simple setup. We've got a bulb holder, and we've got this large 125 watt bulb. And we've got an umbrella that just slides into the uh, the bulb holder, which is adjustable. And we also sell a silver um, umbrella that can go with this kit. And uh, you'll probably see that in another video. But a uh, little switch on the back, we'll switch it on. Right, this is our setup. We're going to take a picture of this table. Uh, we've raised it up and sat it on a box. Although we have got a backdrop here, this can be done against any plain wall um, because we are going to take out the background in post-production. Um, now, for something like this, the foot is, you're going to see the floor, but uh, in post-production, you can take this out. So we're using these shoot-through umbrellas. This one is um, about, from the center of the table, just over a metre, and this one's a metre and a half. Now we're going to set the camera on aperture priority. This is so that we can, um, we know the depth of field, and then the speed will look after itself. Although with the camera looking at a wide expanse, we, we're going to do plus one exposure compensation. Um, to see where we are um, and uh, I've got these two large bulbs on and uh, we've taken out all the ambient light. Now you can shoot using with these daylight bulbs using some natural light so if you've got a scene where some natural light is coming in you can mix these uh, with that without any problem. So let's get going let's make uh, an exposure Right, so we're set on the um, plus one on the uh, exposure compensation, and we're going to we set the shutter that there's two seconds delay. So we press the button, and there's two seconds delay uh, before the camera takes a shot. It allows the camera to settle down and take the shot. Now that's not too bad. It's a tricky subject because it is all silver and the top is silver against the white background. We're going to try taking the exposure compensation down by a third and try again. 
to see what that looks like. And again, that doesn't look bad at all. Uh, we can have a look uh, at the histogram and we can see that that histogram is slightly better than the other one. Please subscribe and also make a comment and we'll try and answer you. Um, thanks for watching. See you next time.